coming from Europe and in France, you have tremendous problems with Islamism uh, and uh, non-assimilation. And now the, the challenges that the U.S. is facing, uh, both with uh, Syrian immigrants or those who are claim, claim to be Syrian immigrant, immigrant, but also from the left who are looking to uh, promote this multicultural and, uh, and uh, uh, immigration. What should Americans be thinking about from your perspective? Well, at this, at this time, it's very important for Americans to understand that they're facing a huge threat. I mean, uh, I don't want, uh, nobody wants America to become as Europe was transformed. I mean, Europe, Europe is becoming a disaster with this mass immigration, with this so-called multiculturalism, which is erase, erasing European culture and just uh, taking the input culture. So it's very dangerous what we're facing now in Europe and we really need America to stay America and to keep on being America. Meaning that the experience that you had for eight years with Barack Obama has to be stopped as soon as possible. And we have, I mean, as a, as a European, as someone who cares about the peace in the world, I think it's really important for you to stop voting for crazy people who are really, um, I would say, uh, creating a big turmoil in Europe, in the Muslim world, in the Middle East, and even in Asia. So it's very, very uh, uh, dangerous for us and for the rest of the world to have America weak. We need to have a real exceptional America. We need to have a strong America. And uh, this is, I would say, urgent. How about the media who's been uh, exposed through uh, Ben Rhodes as uh, uh, duping, fooling the, the American public through the complicit liberal press and, uh, and selling this uh, Iran deal, and getting uh, all Western countries to now uh, have a detente with, with Iran, and, are, and they have not given up their quest for uh, the destruction of Israel or exporting the Islamic Revolution. Yeah, well, that's dangerous. I mean, uh, the Iranian deal is, uh, the Iran deal is, uh, is another uh, reason for being uh, really upset of, because of what happened in America and because of what happened with the uh, extremely uh, liberal media outlets. They're really uh, duped people, they really fooled the people, and they really um, faked the information. And that's really what, for me, as an expert on media manipulation, is really problematic. And you know, what has been sold to the American public, to the European public, with the Aaron deal, is a real fabrication. It's a hoax. Do you feel that the, uh, the, the, foreign, uh, the, uh, the, the international press are uh, willing to uh, to sell Israel out, even for lies? I would say yes, but it's not only Israel. It's our Western cu culture, our Western values. I mean, they want to give it up. I don't know why. I, to me, that's really amazing. I think they've been bought. I think there's a lot of corruption here. There is a lot of Arab money. But that's insane, what we're seeing when you read the New York Times, when you read the LA Times, when you read the French press, when you read the British press, it's absurd. And it's really, uh, really the, the world is upside down and they're reversing the truth and they're putting the blame on the, vic on the victims and they're never admitting the terrorists, that the terrorists are coming from the Muslim world. They're never admitting, uh, you know, for example, what, what happened in San Bernardino to me was insane. Instead of saying the guy did it because he was a Muslim, they say, oh, the problem is with uh, NRA, which is allowing people who have guns everywhere. So it was not the guy who holds the gun, it was the gun who's responsible, you know? It's crazy. Does the, uh, how does the French media do it? Oh, the French media, it's... Uh, Similar? It's even worse. I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, propaganda, it's the worst propaganda you'll ever see. Uh, it's always lying, 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 lying. And when it comes to Israel, the lies are even worse than that. Uh -huh. So we had here, we had, uh, came to visit the uh, grandson of uh, Auschwitz Commandant Rudolf Hess. And he's saying, you know, we stop, we have to uh, reject anti-Semitism and racism and bigotry of all kinds, including especially Pegida. 
What do you feel about, is there a, a nationalism that's okay? Well, I think that instead of nationalism, I like patriotism, you know. Patriotism is really the reason you love your country. Nationalism is a rejection of the other ones. I don't reject my, my neighbors. I don't reject people coming from other parts of the world. But they can live in their country. They don't need to come and live in my house. I mean, I mean it's better to live each and every one is in one's house. So it, I don't think it makes sense to make the world all mixed up and to make, the, to make sure that all the people are coming in our European countries. In, in America and what we're experiencing now in Europe is a disaster. Look at what happened in Germany. I mean, they got one million guys, the so-called guy from Syria. I mean, and these are lots of these people are really causing a huge troubles in in Europe because even if none of them, even if none of them is terrorists, and we know that some of them are terrorists, they are bringing are terrorists. Go, yeah, terrorists. They are bringing a culture which is rejecting our culture. I mean, there is a freedom of expression the freedom of the woman, I mean, the equality between men and all of this, they are rejecting it. And that's the real main problem. They're really against our culture. That's my main concern. Uh -huh. So Marine Le Pen, is that, is that an okay uh, political movement? I disagree with Marine Le Pen on almost everything. I think she's not really, she's really not uh, someone you can trust. I mean, and I think she's really someone who just doesn't get the real problem with Islam, you know. She's just getting with immigration, but she doesn't get the whole, the broad picture. But is there a, a conservative party which is okay? With Not it? yet. Not in France? Not in France. And how about in the EU in general? Well, is, is you have Gerd Wilders, who's okay in, uh, in, yeah, in the okay. Netherlands. Um, I'm not an expert on so many countries, but I can tell you, in Europe, uh, in, especially in France, we don't have such a really strong conservative party, uh, which would be, I would say, uh, electable. Uh -huh. Is Pegida good at all in any regard? I don't see anything good because as a way, as a way they are presenting their ideas is, is obnoxious. They are not presenting it properly. So the question is that you know if you bring a, a nice present, but if the box is ugly, uh, you don't want to open the box. So that's the main problem. But is there a conservative um, move within France that's that's not racist? Mm -hmm. Not yet. I mean, the UM, I mean, the party of Sarkozy's party could have been that one, but they're infiltrated by so many uh, pro-Islam people, pro-Iranian people. You know, so it's uh, look, we are we are, we have been overwhelmed by money coming from Qatar, from Saudi Arabia. So these guys are completely corrupted. The politicians. Yeah. yeah the, the, and uh, e even the bureaucrats, would you say? Especially the bureaucrats. The diplomats. I mean, the diplomats are buying the money, are buy, are, are drinking the milk from the Arab Arab cows. Arab hoes? Cows, yeah. The milk. Yeah. They're drinking, yeah. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Good.